Hello everyone. So this recipe is for Jonathan. You've been asking me to make you a buffalo wing uh, sauce. So here it goes. And it's coming in a good time because I have some cauliflower that needs to be used up. So I am going to start preparing these. And these will be our wings. Rather than having uh, a meat product or a vegan meat product, what we're going to do is we're going to use a cauliflower and they're going to be our wings. We're going to need a bowl. There we go. And we're going to break up some of this cauliflower and we're going to start adding flour to it so we can coat them. And this is a good thing because I had this cauliflower sitting in my refrigerator. I've been using it, but not fast enough and I don't want to spoil it. So now I would say uh, if you're going to make it, make some nice rosettes so you could get a nice uh, little bite. And if you find these are a little too big, just take it and break them in half this way and you have smaller rosettes. Now, our buffalo sauce, normally when you make buffalo sauce, it's really high in fats, but not the best fats. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it just a little healthier. And if you have small pieces like this, do not use them. Just put them aside. They could go into a soup. They could go into a stir fry. So I'm going to put this aside for now and just use the larger flowers. If you can, try and leave a little bit of the stem to it. So this way you could actually grab them when you go and eat them. I'll take this one off because it's not the prettiest looking stem. Now, um, the batch that we're going to make, uh, if you have any leftover sauce, you can use it for something else. So, if you see you have way too much sauce, don't worry about it. And if you find that you have too little sauce because you want to make a big batch, then just go ahead and double the recipe. There we go. Erica, can I have some flour love? And like I said, if you could get it with the stem, even better. This way you could just grab it. some flour, please. And I think this is good for now. But again, it's really up to you how many of these you want to make. Perfect. And I'll put this aside because I'll use this for something else for sure. Or maybe I'll make another batch later on. Over the holidays, I make uh, like a cauliflower fritter that we make on the eve of Christmas. And those are pretty delicious. I have a video on how I make those. And those are just served with a nice little wedge. Basically, it's a battered cauliflower. And it's served with a little wedge of uh, lemon or lime that you squeeze on top and you just enjoy those. So anyhow, we're going to go back to the recipe. So we have our cauliflower and we're going to sprinkle some flour on top. Now you want these coated. So I say about maybe half a cup to start off with and then we'll see if I need more. That was less than half a cup. We're going to put some salt to this. There we go. A little bit of salt. And we're going to add some water. Or you can add milk. But in this case, we're going to add water. And what I usually do is I add a little bit at a time. And then I mix it. You don't want this to be very wet. So just keep mixing and adding. And if you have to, you could also add extra flour. Now when I do the ones for Christmas, I add a little bit of baking powder so the dough rises. But you don't want this to rise, so we're going to stick with just the flour and water. We're going to sprinkle a little extra flour on that. Probably asking yourself, why am I doing it this way and I'm making a big batch of batter? Because I don't want leftover batter, so I'm just going to eyeball it. 
and you just want them nice and coated. Just a little extra flour again. So basically, I say between a half to one cup of flour, depending how much you have. But as you can tell, I really don't have that much batter at the bottom. Everything is stuck to my cauliflower. Okay, we're just going to let this sit a bit so the moisture is going to penetrate through the flour and we're going to get a nice little crunchy bite. So I'm going to put this aside for now and we're going to preheat our oven. This is fun food. This is food that you want to eat on a Friday night watching TV. It's not Friday here, but we're going to enjoy them anyhow. I'm going to preheat our oven to 450. We want this nice and high. There we go. And I am going to put a sheet of parchment on here so uh, they're going to do their own thing on the parchment. But if you have a baking sheet, that's even better. So I'm just going to lay parchment right on top of this. Like I said, if you have a nice big baking sheet, go ahead and use that. And I'm going to place these. I might just need a big baking sheet. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use a baking sheet. Let me go get one. Okay, so we're going to change this up because they might not fit. So here is my tray. And here is my parchment. Always best to put some parchment because this way um, it just won't stick on you. It'll stick less on parchment than if you're going to use either aluminum or any other kind of tray. So we're just going to lay these down and we're going to put them in the oven. I've got it preheated 450 and we're going to put them in there for at least 20 minutes. You want them to get nice. You want the flour to cook around the cauliflower. Here we go. And while this is cooking, we're going to start making our buffalo sauce. Now, I'll show you why I was saying don't make a big batter because you know sometimes you're going to be stuck with that batter i mean it's not the end of the world you could always throw something else in the batter and use it for another recipe but if you put that batter in the fridge not the best not the best thing okay let's just move these around you don't want them crowded because you want them to get nice and crispy. Just going to rearrange them a bit so we can put more. This was never going to make it in my cast iron for sure. And there, I'm going to make room one more. I'm going to put them right there. And this is the last one. Okay, so they're going to go into the oven. And we're going to get this nice and golden. And then while this is there, we're going to start putting together our sauce. Now, see what I mean by just sprinkling flour and a little bit of water? You end up coating your vegetables yet, uh, while well, your cauliflower at least, uh, yet you don't have a big bunch of dough left. 
a battery. Okay, I'm gonna just put that in there. So into the oven these go. And I'm gonna put a timer for 20 minutes. make this a healthier version otherwise you've got like over half a cup if not more of butter I mean that is like sorry guys but that's way too much nastiness for our bodies so what I have is half a cup of cashews that I've already put to soak I'm gonna use that and this we're not gonna make it very thick I'm gonna have to be able to pour some on top and coat our our cauliflower. So I'm just gonna get some water. Okay, and for now, I'm gonna put it right to my nuts. Right to the top, because you don't want this to be a thick sauce. You want it a little more liquidy. And then if we have to, we'll add a little more water. And we're gonna add some salt. There we go. And I'd say about a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add a clove of garlic, which I have to get. And remember, we could always add extra liquids to this to thin it out. We will add a little bit of oil just to give it that fatty look because the cashews is a fat but it's not an oily fat. So we have one clove of garlic. We're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna put about maybe two teaspoons rather than like a cup of butter. To this, we're gonna add some cracked pepper. Okay. We're gonna get some vinegar, and we're gonna use, let's say about a tablespoon, if not more, because buffalo sauce is tangy. So we've got one, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of white vinegar. And if you have apple cider, I'm out of it, but if you have apple cider, you can use that. I'm going to put the juice of half a lime and I put it in wrong again. Never fails. We'll see. If I need more, I'll put more later. There we go. Okay, black pepper, salt. Uh, I'm going to use a little drop of maple. I'd say about one and a half teaspoons. We're gonna use some sriracha. I'm gonna use one, two, three tablespoons of sriracha. About half a teaspoon of celery salt. Now someone told me that Worcestershire sauce isn't vegan. Well you can actually get um, vegan vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. This is the one I buy but if you want there's also a recipe of the one I make. This actually is some of the one I make and some of the one I buy because I didn't have room to fill up my other jar so I end up putting some in here. But 
Uh, you can actually find this. This is the brand if you can see it. And it says right there, vegan and vegetarian. And it's organic. And it's just simply delicious. And you can use this in many of your recipes. Okay, we're going to put about half a teaspoon. Is that half? Yes, it is. Oh, maybe a little more than half. It just slid right out of the bottle. And we're going to put a little bit of hot pepper on this. Oop. There we go. Uh, this is optional. It depends how much heat, guys. I don't know how much heat you guys can handle. That is really up to you. Uh, you could also use red hot if you want to use that. But I'm going to play by ear. I'm going to taste this first. And that's going to tell me how far uh, I've gone with this. So I'm going to put a little bit of chili powder. I would say maybe about a quarter teaspoon and we're going to blend this up and I'm going to see my heat and what else I want to add. If I want to add more water, I'll do that, but it's really, really simple. So I'm just going to blend it and see where I go from there. Good day. Okay. Mm, I can use more heat. So that's one, two more, and we're going to add just a little extra olive oil. Put another tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to blend this up and see if I want it hotter. Remember this is how hot can you tolerate it. Okay, I'm just going to let that drip and fall in and then I'm going to check it for heat. Salt is perfect. This is really good. So we're just going to wait and see if I want to add something else to it. But there you go. Very easy to make a buffalo sauce and you could coat anything you want with this. I'm just going to add some paprika for color just to get it a little darker in color. I'm going to do one teaspoon. There we go. And that should be it. Wow, that's really good. I impressed myself. Now remember, if you want this a little more garlicky, add a little extra garlic. But this seems to be perfect. If you want it more watery, go ahead and add more liquids to it. Oh, this is so good. This will thicken up. It could even be hotter for me. Mm. I'll do that. I'm just going to add a little bit of my hot oil. There you go. Not that much. Now, compared to like a cup of butter. We have like maybe three, four tablespoons of fat in here. And the rest is more of um, cashew fat, which is perfect because it is healthier than having the other type of fats in our body. Right, Erica? Sorry? I said, right, Erica? Using cashews rather than all the butter? Mm-hmm. And basically... We like it hot, guys. So play it by ear. Start with less sriracha. Again, it depends on how hot you want to start with less sriracha and work your way up in heat. Otherwise, you're going to be screaming bloody murder and you won't even know what happened to you. Okay. 
This is going to be perfect. Taste is fantastic, nice and tangy. If you want extra tang, remember you could always add. There we go. If you want extra tang, you could always add extra tang to it, either through, um, either by adding more vinegar or by adding extra lime juice or even lemon, lemon juice if you want. So this is ready for our cauliflower. You want to try the sauce, Erica? Mm -hmm. Oh, almost lost that. There we go. Oh my God. Good, eh? Oh my Lord. I'm gonna need... That is... Yummy? Very good. Mm. And really good spice. Nice heat. Mm -hmm. Want it hotter? No. That's good? Oh my god. Okay. That's very good. What the heck? That's really good. So a healthier version, rather than having a load of butter in your belly, you've got some delicious cashews that are even healthy for you. So I'm just going to wait and then I'm going to add some of this on top and give them a toss and they're going to go back into the oven. And Jonathan, if you give this a try, you're going to have to come back and tell me, sweetie. Tell me how you like it and what you would do to change it up if you would. So uh, here is my uh, Worcestershire sauce. This one here is a mix. Um, there's half of the bought one and half of the one I made. Uh, so if you want to make mine, I'll put a link under the description. But this is the brand name. Uh, write it down somewhere. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'll try and write down the name under the description for you. So you can maybe try and find it. But very good. It's organic. USDA. And it's uh, gluten-free, vegan, and vegetarian Worcestershire sauce. So there you go, guys. There we go. And we are going to put this all there in the middle. And we're going to add some sauce to it. And we're going to give it a good toss. Erica, can I have uh, a glove? One glove? There we go. I'm just going to toss this up. I should have tossed it in a bowl. It would have probably been easier. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. These are good to eat just like this. But we're going to put them back into the oven. Okay. Let me just... Here we go. Crack some black pepper on top. Now remember, if you want this a little fatty, you could always um, sprinkle. If you want them a little fatty, you could always sprinkle some more on top. Some paprika and into the oven they go. Is it hot? Huh. Yeah. Here. There we go. Okay. This I'll put aside. Uh, so I am going to put it for 10 minutes only. No, I'm going to go back to bake. I'm going to put it higher. Bake five, 500. Start. I'm going to keep an eye on them. So I just raised my temperature to 500 because now those are already cooked. You just want to get them nice in color, but you do have to keep an eye on them. You do not want to mess those up. Okay, so now um, besides that, you can make yourself a nice little, um, a nice little sauce. Ranch. Ranch. Ranch goes with that. I'm just gonna make a very fast, fast. Uh, ranch dressing. Here we go. Uh, to this, I'm going to put some of my sour cream. Here we go. Sour cream. I just made a new batch. 
So this is the last of my sour cream. There we go. So we're going to make a nice little ranch that she can dip in. This is just like a fast recipe. I think I have a recipe for a ranch, but I'm just kind of blowing it out. I'm not being very, what's the word? I'm not being precise. I'm just showing you how fast uh, we can make some ingredients with some of the ingredients you already have in your house. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, yeah, I could put a whole garlic head in there. So I'm going to put a whole garlic head. I'm going to put some parsley. There we go. I'm going to put a little piece of onion. There we go. And we're going to make a nice little ranch dressing that she could dip. Just want to make sure that we're not burning our cauliflower because that would be sad. Okay, we have a little piece of onion, a little piece of garlic. I am going to squeeze some lime to this. Or you could use some vinegar, really up to you. Some lime. I'm going to put just a little bit of mayo. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but it closed on me. I took some sour cream, I put some mayonnaise, a little bit of parsley, some garlic, a little piece of onion, and I'm going to make um, a ranch dressing for my daughter that she can dip her cauliflower. Okay, so I did a fast ranch dressing for my daughter. I'm not sure if I caught it, but basically what I did was I took some of my sour cream that I had in the fridge and... I put some mayo, some parsley, there we go. I put a garlic, I put a piece of onion, some, um, some lime juice, and we made a nice little ranch dressing for her to dip her cauliflower in. And I should check them because those should be done already. And that's how fast and easy it is to make a ranch. Now, you could also check my YouTube. I have videos on how to make a ranch dressing. I just threw one together for her now. But it's very simple if you want to follow a recipe. This is a no recipe. It's just a matter of throwing things together. But if you taste it, mm, my God. Okay, these are done. Off. There you go, buffalo cauliflower wings and some delicious, delicious ranch dressing to dip them in. So there you go, Jonathan, I hope you like this recipe and if you do and if you try it out, let me know, come back, tell me how you like it and guess what, I'll see you guys in my next video. Erica, you want to give it a try? I've already tried. You already tried? How about dipping it in the sauce? It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum yum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.